My next guest in the author studio, Stefan Arnhem, started his career, as I did, as a screenwriter. Among his many credits are several episodes of Wallander, and he's now a very established crime writer living in Stockholm, writing in that Swedish crime writing tradition, or should I call it Nordic Noir? Sit down and do it. Oh, I don't written so many books yet, so I love all of them. Uh, but okay, I would say the last one, 18 Below, is my favorite right now. But you know, I will change my mind uh, when I finish the fourth, I'm, for sure, I'm sure. Well, I read a lot of crime fiction, but I think it was the Henning Manka series with Kurt Wallander that's been inspiring me the most. And then also Stieg Larsson, uh, the Millennium Trilogy. It was like he opened so many doors. My God, you can, you can do this. Uh, and I think it was then I decided, well, then, then I can do it also. I write normal working hours, uh, nine to five. Um, I sit at home, I have my office at home, uh, a small desk with just a computer. And uh, yeah, I try to sit down and do the work. Facebook and uh, checking uh, how much I sold. <laughs> Now, going when when you release the book, uh, you constantly go. I do to check uh, the yeah, I, am I still at the bestseller list? Uh, but then after a couple of weeks, it goes down. So then you can it's easier to work again. Yeah, I make a pot of tea. Um, I check my emails. Um, I read a newspaper the daily paper, and um, then I sit down. So, yeah, that's what I do. No, actually, in the beginning, I couldn't write at all. When I, when I went to school, it was so hard for me to, to pronounce and, and spell and, and read, actually. So I never thought that I would be an author. But then I realized I had so many stories. I had my a vivid imagination. So uh, I just had to get them out and I dreamt, in the beginning I dreamt of being a director but then someone else has to you know, write your story so it was actually easier to start to write yourself. So it was just, just a coincidence. It starts out with an idea that this would be, this would be exciting, intriguing, you know, you have this theme or you just heard of a case from reality or you read something in the newspaper. After that I, I go out to different cafes and uh, write by hand with loud music in my earphones and watching people. I just kind of, what is this story about and what will happen? Where are the, the personal uh, stories going and what, what is the themes going around in this system? So it take me a it takes me a couple of months and then I, I, part, I, I think I have a, an idea of what the story is about. Um, a lot of my colleagues, they actually plan the whole story. They have every chapter, you know, an idea for every chapter through the whole book. Uh, I don't have that. I think it's too much, too complicated and it, I want to work in a more organic way. So, so I start to write and uh, I know where to go, but maybe not how. So things will happen when I write. And then I have to go back and change back and forth. It's a hard work, but I think it's, it gets better that way. There is one, why, why do you have so much violence in your books? I mean, I, I, at a certain part of time, I was really tired of that one. <laughs> ah, uh, well, I think violence is kind of, you know, part of the crime. Um, I don't have violence for the violence itself, but 
crime, I think crime is about that. It's about life and death. Uh, yes, I actually lost a screenplay uh, I was writing, uh, a feature. It was really, really hard. It was, uh, the program in the computer had like auto save, save mode. So every 10 minutes or so it would save over the last, over the old file. And exactly at that time, the computer crashed. So it, it, it deleted the old one that was 10 minutes old and the new one. And that was really hard. You know, I got this physical reaction in the body, sweaty, all cold. You know, I threw up. It was, it was crazy. Thanks so much, Stefan. You've been a great guest, giving us some terrific insights into Nordic Noir. So in true Swedish style, Hey, do.